Hello and welcome to Benchmark Magazine. I'm joined by Jeremy McLaren from Johnson's Controls, uh, who's going to talk to us a little bit about the position of the company at the moment, its expansion and its future plans. Hello, Jeremy. How are you? Hi, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me on today. Wonderful. Jeremy, tell us what your role is at JCAI and, uh, and what you do on your day to day. Well, I'm the senior director of marketing, global marketing for our security products division. Uh, and I'm managing many of the brands that manufacture security, smart home and smart building technology around the world. Uh, we've got a team of people in uh, EMEA, LATAM, North America and APAC regions. Uh, helping to support our local customers, helping to support um, our teams, our sales and, and technical teams in those various areas to try and build great marketing to help them show how the Johnson Control Smart Building Solution can really help to make buildings smart, safe, secure and sustainable. Fabulous. One of the things that uh, always calls my attention about JCAI is the number of companies that you have acquired over the years and the mergers, etc. How are you dealing with these different divisions? Well, it's certainly a challenge. Uh, you know, having lots of different companies brings in lots of different cultures, brings lots of different product lines, and making those product lines work with each other when they previously may have been comp competing against each other um, can be can be difficult. But you know, one of the things I we, I think we really pride ourselves on is we've got a very diverse culture and a very accepting culture. Um, our, our organization from a technical standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, from a sales standpoint, from product standpoint is actively working to try and put everything into a single platform, taking all these technologies and the best of each technologies and the best practices from each technology and putting them together into one solution that can really help to solve our problems of our customers. When we look at the challenges they face, both the challenges they're aware of and the challenges they're not aware of, we love to be able to say, oh, this could be solved by this particular piece of software, for example, it was made by this company we acquired. Let's bring this over into our larger portfolio product and make that larger portfolio product. And by everything, having most of our products software-based and cloud-based products, uh, in addition to connecting in with the hardware that we've developed uh, and continue to engineer, it allows all of those things together to work in a way that will solve so many, so many different challenges. And we're very excited about the prospect of bringing all of it together into one solution. It's not, a, it's not an overnight process, but you know, with so many brilliant people from so many different places, we are confident that we are, we're in the right position. And are you keeping the names of these companies like we've seen Tyco and some other companies that um, Johnson Controls has acquired over the years, and those names are still identifiable, but what's happening with that? You know, it's one of the challenges of, of being in a company with uh, several acquisitions is, you know, where do you, where do you get rid of the old or merge in with the new or, or things like that? And that's one of the things we've been working very hard on, at least as a marketing team, is to try and identify what are those product lines that um, are, need to keep that name for at least a short time? And how do we introduce the Johnson Controls name into it in a way that will allow the, the end users not to be confused? I mean, the end goal is we don't want our end users, we don't want our customers to feel confused by what's coming, what's what we're providing. And if we were to suddenly just rebrand all the boxes with Johnson Controls, they might be walking around the store looking for the Tyco box and never see it and say, well, I guess they don't have it anymore, not knowing that that product was there. So there's a delicate transition period that needs to occur. But the end goal is that we can have all of our products be Johnson Controls labeled. Um, you know, I think there's that's a strong brand out there. I think a lot of people you know, recognize it and know it. And for those who are familiar with other brands like Tyco, like Qualsys, like, you know, some of the others that have been acquired over the years, you know, we have a transition plan in place to slowly move all those over to that, that full name. And one of the strategies we're using is to put emphasis on the product, not the name. And if we can put emphasis on the product that, that people are purchasing, the people that are, are enrolling in, you know, for example, the IQ panel made by Qualsys, a, a recent acquisition from a Silicon Valley based company is a, the premier security and smart home platform in the United States. And as we bring that over to Europe, we have a choice. We could bring the Qualsys name with us, or we could choose to emphasize IQ panel. And as we emphasize IQ panel and the products and solutions that it's bringing, we end up actually having people loyal to the product line, 
not necessarily to the brand. And that's really the goal, right? Is to get them to buy our products, to get them to, to use the products and see how smart, sustainable and safe and secure they can be by using those products. And when they do that, that product loyalty will then transfer into um, you know, more purchases that will transfer into people sharing it with their friends and their family, uh, with colleagues, with cohorts, and with the end goal of everyone now has a smarter, safer, more secure platform that they can leverage for the things they're trying to do. Could you tell us a little bit about Open Blue and all of the solutions that you have on the cloud? Uh, Open Blue is a technology that we are working very hard to build, um, basically creating a cloud platform that allows all of the various organizations, be it chillers, be it you know HVAC units, um, security and smart home technology, things like that. Every, as we bring all of these things together, uh, Open Blue will be the name of the cloud product that uh, that will kind of umbrella all of it. Um, and as we're building this cloud connectivity for all smart buildings. Uh, we believe the future is, again, software-based and cloud-based. We believe that most people are going to want to connect to something with their smartphone, with their computers, with their laptops, and that everything being connected, no matter what it is, can connect into a single platform. And maybe you, as a building owner, have multiple types of buildings, multiple sizes of buildings. The ability to have you know, one pane of glass for all of your various products uh, is, a, is, a, is a great solution and, and something that the market is, is desired. Let me um, ask you about your near future plans. So as we enter Europe and really um, bring some of our solutions to the European market, one of the things we're really excited about doing is bringing in a, a residential solution um, that is similar to what we've done, uh, if not identical to what we've done in, the, in North America. We've noticed that uh, the technology that's, that's really proliferated itself across the North American, uh, that includes Canada, United States, Mexico, and other, and other locations. But the technology that's really been very exciting for people is the ability to connect into something that allows them to control and um, see uh, all of the things that are in their home, in their business. Uh, for example, uh, a touch screen, a beautiful touch screen in your home can be the, uh, the base station or the interface uh, that will allow you to connect to your smart lighting to your smart locks, to security and life safety devices, to mm -hmm. um, you know, control things like your garage door and things like that. I want you to imagine a world where when you walk out of your house, your phone automatically knows that you've left, sends you a message with one button, you can say, I'm leaving. And now your front door locks, your lights turn off, your security system arms, your life safety devices are now protecting the home against floods and fire and carbon monoxide. Your garage door closes, your home is now safe energy efficient and secure. And as you go about the day, as you are you know, moving through the world, you know, having real time alerts, if something happens in your home, if something's you know, not right, maybe when kids get home, you get an alert that's, that shows you a clip of them coming to the door and then coming inside safely. And you can have that assurance that everything is just fine. Uh, as you come home, you know, automatically your door unlocks, your lights turn on, your music turns on. And it's a really, really great experience, a welcoming experience. And this, is, this has been happening across North America like wildfire. People are loving these kinds of solutions and the kind of smart devices that come in and allow them to have control and visibility to the things that are happening in their home. And as we make this next leap into smart businesses, because that's, that's where the, the company's really excited to move into, you know, many of these business owners, business managers are wanting something similar. They wanna know when the employees arrive in the morning, they wanna see them walking up to the door, they wanna see them smiling as they enter in their code to deactivate the system and start for the day. Smart access control allows the right people access to the right doors, you know, into the right areas of the business. Things that are important to the business are, are secured properly or chilled properly so that they're staying fresh, so that they're staying you know, active. Um, and as we connect all of these dots together into a single pane of glass, I want you to imagine one interface, one, one phone interface where I can say, I wanna check on my business. I can also see my home. I can see everything that's there. I can see that everything's working well. And, and, and really bringing a sustainable um, aspect to it as well. You know, As the lights turn on, automatically that means they weren't on when you didn't need them to be so you're not using power you don't need to use when the air conditioner or heater turns on automatically because you've arrived and turns off automatically when you've left instead of it running all night long 
you know, you're now saving energy. So there's so many different ways to not only keep things safe and secure, but make it more sustainable and create convenience for people so that they have a better experience using it. They love it and they really have a, a great time, you know, interacting with the technology. And if we do it right, the technology will be seamless and easy, but it won't be something that will uh, be cumbersome or, or require a lot of effort. And that's where our dealer partners come in, our installer partners come in. Yes. They help configure the systems in the right way. They help make sure that the technology is set up and configured for you. And if we've done our job right as a manufacturing company to build the technology and solutions so that it is as customizable as it needs to be, no matter what the size of the company, no matter what size of the building, no matter who's in it, how many people are coming and going, you know, it, that customization and that configurability uh, can be allowed by those dealers and installers. So you can have a very customized, easy experience, uh, no matter whether you're more interested in sustainability or convenience or data or security or all of the above. It brings all of them together into one place. Jeremy, is your route to market different in the US to what you have in Europe? You know, it's really not. Uh, you know, I think people today are really interested in these kinds of technology solutions. And uh, we've seen that there are some people who say, well, I want to do it myself. And that's totally fine. Our technology and solutions uh, can be done by someone. You could say you want to buy our, our products and go install them yourselves and maintain them yourselves. Whether you're a large building with a, an IT department and you want to say, we're going to be the ones to put in the door readers and the you know, smart you know, devices into the, you know, the building throughout the building. Or it's a small homeowner who says, I, hey, I feel like I can set this up on the wall or, or on a table stand and I can apply my sensors and, and install those myself. But many times I've found that people today are more interested in having a professional come in to not only install it for them, but also professionally configure it for them. Technology can be, can be a challenge. And if we've done our job right, it's not. It's a very easy, fast install. Uh, we're using wireless technology wherever we possibly can to expedite and improve the quality of service. Um, but, you know, having an, a trusted installer who can not only do it for you, but also consult with you. And I think that's a really important piece of it. Many people aren't sure, don't fully understand what all's out there. Do I want flood sensors next to my water heater and next to the sinks and, you know, in the basement? Do I want smoke detectors in the right places? Where is the right place to put a smoke detector, a carbon detector? Where is the right place to put a door sensor to protect against intrusion or a motion sensor? How do I configure all of these devices together to ensure that, you know, my security is, is doing the right thing, but also that it's not inconvenient or creates false alarms. Having a professional that comes in and does that is something that a lot of people really want. And if, as we look at the market for people wanting to either do it themselves or have a professional do it, oftentimes it comes down to cost. And if you think that we've got a team who's experienced enough who can do it, we can do it ourselves. That's great. The products and solutions work fine for that. If you so say you I want to have both product. directly to end users and through distributors. Well, it, it, it depends on the on the situation. For larger buildings, well, oftentimes we'll work directly with those organizations to try and say, hey, what it, what is it you're looking for? My personal vote is I believe that the installer market, the dealers and installers who are licensed, bonded, uh, and trained to be able to do this the right way is the right choice. And if we can help help them to be able to give the end user a great experience, you know, that's the route I, I, I would encourage people to go because it's very hard to be a subject matter expert in your business and then also become a subject matter expert in smart home and smart building technology to be able to do all of that in addition to everything else you're doing. Most people want a, specialized, a specialist to come in and do it. Just like if you were going to have appliances installed, some people would want to have, you know, do that themselves. Others are going to say, I'm going to have the professionals come in and make sure that my refrigerator and my washing machine work the right way. I'm going to have the professionals come in and install the air conditioner unit or the, mm -hmm. you know, the building system, the building access system the right way to make sure that it's done the way that it's, I need it to. And I can focus on what my use case is and helping the installer or dealer, you know, configure it the way I need for my solutions. And from an ongoing service perspective, yeah. now instead of me having to look up YouTube videos and try and figure it out, now I've got someone who's trusted who I can call and say, hey, it's not working or it's not functioning the way I would expect it to. Can you help me out? And I don't have to spend hours on YouTube trying to figure things out or, or paging through you know, documentation. Yeah. Instead, I simply call someone who's trusted and, and, and can help manufacture or help manage it for me. What would you say is JCI's leading product or service that you're offering, the, the flagship? 
Well, for, for my particular division, and I can't speak for the others, for my particular division, the security products division, uh, we have a number of products that are really exciting. Um, you know, I think especially it's becoming very popular in the United Kingdom, as well as other places in Europe. The IQ panel that I mentioned earlier is a seven inch HD touchscreen that has a built in camera and has everything, seven different wireless radios built into it to allow you to connect to, you know, all the different aspects of your home or your business. It's really exciting to see some of the legacy technologies that have been around for decades still work with this product, as well as new long range encrypted sensors with Power G uh, and, and smart, de smart devices uh, like door locks, lights, thermostats with Z-Wave, you know, all of them coming together with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices into one solution uh, that can work for a business, it can work for a home, it can work for a large company. Um, and it's a really, really exciting to have a single platform that we can build upon uh, that to me, that's the most exciting in the flagship product. There's lots of other things we're doing, um, but that's the one I think it, that's the one to watch as you watch the IQ panel come into the world, come into the come into the you know the European nation and see all the different places it's going to go and what it's going to the kind of solutions it's going to provide for you. I think that's one that you're going to want to get yourself, and it's going to be <laughs> one that uh, that you're going to see really proliferate very very quickly. And it's going to change the way people interact with their homes, with their businesses. It's going to change how they connect, how they stay connected and how they manage their, you know, their life safety and security concerns as well as their convenience. Are there any needs or requests from the market that you are hearing about that you find difficult to resolve? It's funny you say that because we actually pride ourselves on voice of the customer. It's one of the things we really, really love is you know, being able to listen to a customer and say, oh, that's what you want. Let's do it. Um, we, I, I can't tell you how many times we, we, with the IQ panel in the United States, we've gone through probably 20 to 25 different software revisions as we continually improve. And almost all of those are based on customer feedback. Someone says, mm -hmm. hey, I really want, you know, this particular ser service or I want this particular device connected into it. I would like, you know, be able to have an integration there working together with you know, the partners that we have in the manufacturing space, we're able to do that to connect those together. And now you can use that particular product and service. So I would, I would say, bring it on. Uh, <laughs> you know, we're really excited to see what challenges are out there. We're excited to see what kind of integrations people are looking for and kind of things. I think if there's, if there's one challenge that I would pick, it's that the world is not more open. Um, I, I think there's a lot of people who are fighting to be the platform you know, there's things like Amazon Echo or, or Amazon, you know, Alexa and, and those platforms. You've got Google's platform, you've got Apple's platform, and there's and there's several others that are trying to be the platform. And in their effort to be the platform, oftentimes they're closing their walls. They're saying, no, we can't, we're going to let all the data come in, but we're not going to let any data come out. And that can be a challenge for someone in a business situation where they're saying, hey, I, I chose this particular thermostat because I really liked the way it looked. I liked the way it functioned. But it turns out it doesn't work with these other platforms because they're refusing to integrate because they want me to buy their platform instead. They want to, mm. to buy their thermostat. So that's yeah. that's been something that if, if we could pick one challenge, it, it, trying to get some of the walls broken down so that all these things work together. Because at the end of the day, it's about the user experience. It's about the ability to be able to connect all these things together in a seamless way for the end user. And if we've got a bunch of walled gardens, you know, you're forcing the, the consumer to choose only the products within those gardens. And we believe that, you know, by integrating everyone together, that we'll have a smarter, safer, and more sustainable world. Last question. Tell us a trend that you see for this year, 2022. In the European market, I'm going to say the trend is going to be smart home. I think people are going to want to start, you know, we, we've had security for many, many years. Uh, smart home is starting to come in. I think we're going to see all those things coming together. You're going to see security, life safety, um, sustainability, and, and easy and convenience access all coming together in a really big way. I think you're going to see people you know, bringing these technologies from all the various places in the world over. Everything's going to be app-based um, you know, onto a single pane of glass, onto your tablet, onto your smart panel that's in your home, like the IQ panel I mentioned earlier, I think you're going to see all those things coming together in a really, really big way. And I think you're going to see a lot of people saying, I'm ready for it. Uh, we've already seen a, such a tremendous impact that COVID-19 has had on transforming the digital space. Everyone's used to going digital now. And the same 
digital, uh, the same digital experience will be available, you know, in that kind of home and business environment. Uh, and, and people are going to be really, really moving towards it. I, I'm, I'm very excited to see uh, the adoption rates really go through the roof of all of these technologies combining together. Uh, we believe that the future is connected. We believe in sustainability. Uh, we believe in, you know, security and safety. And we, we would love to show you what we're doing and how we're doing it. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jeremy. We will see you around. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon.